Hi, everybody. This is Tim Keefe with Transform CX, and uh, welcome to our podcast. And I'd like to, uh, I'm very, very excited to have Arlene Torano as my guest this evening. Arlene is a very, very experienced uh, general manager across uh, several hotel chains throughout Southeast Asia. And one of the th reasons why I wanted to have Arlene as part of our podcast series is because if you want to know about customer experience and you want to teach your team to deliver extraordinary customer experience, you got to go to people who do it all the time. So that's why um, I wanted Arlene to join us and she was kind enough to take time off from her amazing job uh, working in the tropics. <laughs> and I'm very jealous that, that I can't be there with her uh, uh, to do this uh, side by side. But, um, you know, I just thought for a second, maybe do a quick intro. Maybe Arlene, you could tell our, uh, you know, our audience a little bit about your background and then we can get into our discussion questions. Thank you very much, team. I've been into the resort hospitality business for many years, and I'm so happy the way things are for the return of the business. <laughs> yes, I, I can only imagine that, it, you know, as the pandemic ended, it was a, a really tough call to get staff back in and be in a position to uh, support this, uh, what they're calling here in the US, revenge travel. Like after two years of being cooped up, everybody went crazy. So we are ready. All right. Well, with that, and very exciting to hear that. So one of the things, you know, Arlene, as I mentioned earlier, it's so critical in hotel and hospitality is that every customer in their guest experience mostly are interacting with you know some of the more junior members of your staff they don't generally interact with the general manager unless things get really out of control so it's the bell captain it's the uh, room attendant it's the front desk that creates that amazing experience that keeps a guest coming back or creates that experience where that guest doesn't come back and then they can have a lot of bad things to say about your property so one of the things i wanted to ask you is that in your role and having done this many, many times, what do you think are the key elements or values that are important in developing that um, that extraordinary customer experience driven by a strong team? Team, if the employee has the right tools, training and support of the management, they feel empowered. So how does that work when, so when you say empowered, which I, I agree with, by the way, it's a really interesting thing. And we see this in a lot of different industries. You know, what is empowerment look like? Uh, sometimes we call it authority to act. Um, I gave you a, one example I used for a long time was I worked in a telecommunications company. I won't even say when, but it was many years ago. And we had a product deployed and we were having problems with the technology and customers would call in and complain. And, and there really wasn't a lot the agent could do. We knew there was technology problems. We were working on those and all the agent could do is kind of take the brunt of the customer's frustration. But one of the things that we gave the employee the authority to do was to give the customer a month of free service um, on that call immediately. And everybody goes, oh my God, they're going to give away all the money. It was actually the other problem. Even though we had given them that authority to act, none of them felt that that was real. They never felt like they had the true support to do that. So even though we had given them a tool, we didn't reinforce that with communication and support. So, you know, one of the things, um, I'm trying to think of it's Ritz Carlton, I think is the is the property, the brand, not that I stay there very often, but they're pretty famous for literally giving anybody on their staff the ability to comp a night in a hotel for a guest as right there on the spot. Um, and is that the type of when you say empowerment, you know, what are some of the things that you did with your team to make them feel like they had the ability to do something in the moment? not just go, oh, I'll, I'll go call my boss and see what we can do. 
supporting them actually and recognizing when they have a face to face experience with a guest is very very important to an employee like you're doing a great job you know tapping them at, on their back and say you did it great and that support by the management to the employee is so much important and they will actually you know provide a very good customer service because of the recognition and support made by the management to the employee that's great and it you know it aligns with and again i'm not trying to uh, lead the witness here but i'm glad you said it like that because one of the things that we had done some primary research last year with some focus groups across the globe really several hundred um, customer facing staff uh, primarily in hotel and hospitality one group telecommunications and the other one was um, in retail support and there were three things that those uh, agents were telling me over and over and over again that were important to them and success for their job it was that engagement with their with their boss that their boss knew what they were doing their boss recognized when they did good work that they felt that their boss was aware of their challenges and successes in their their work so i i think that's so important with what you were saying there um and then it the other two things go ahead sorry it gives the employee the chance to show i'm doing a great job so you know if i am recognized by my boss if i am an employee and i will actually give more importance to my customer well i think it, well that's exactly it right so when it if you were to go back and you were to pick one example of an extraordinary like a situation where one of your staff really went over over and above but they did it with the complete confidence they had your support what would be a, what would be an example that you would use i that was probably not fair but i can think of one and i have used it in the past and this was about one of your properties um i was uh, actually not even staying at your hotel i was staying um at a different hotel uh in the same area and one of your transportation managers who was there to pick up your guests um where and happened to see me and recognized me which i was pretty shocked at that um approached me and said did i have a ride um to the hotel and i said no no i'm actually staying at a different property down the street and his comment to me i thought was totally unprompted by me but he said look I've got I'm waiting for a couple of guests so if you have any problems or I'll be happy to wait a few minutes and make sure you get transportation over to uh to your hotel. And here was a situation where I mean I had been a guest in the past but I wasn't a guest there was no financial obligation to do anything for me. He could have just walked on by. I would never have said anything. But that was that occurred at least 17 18 years ago and i tell this story all the time because that individual made me personally feel incredibly valued one as a human two as a customer and three he just was so honest and felt completely comfortable that he could offer that and know that if somebody said well, hey wait a minute why did you give that guy a ride that you and your staff would have said no it was absolutely the right thing to do he's not staying here now but i guarantee you next time he comes he's just going to stay with us i am very happy to hear that i think one of the factor important is a consistent compensation to the employee jerry was so nice to everyone especially to you that considering that you were not a resort guest maybe because of the consistent compensation the company is extending to Jerry I think that's great and uh it showed right I mean I don't know about what he gets paid and but yet I felt very very valued as as uh as a human which I think at the end of the day we are all about humans interacting with humans Um 
So I know we have a short time this evening and I look forward to having you back on future podcasts, Arlene, but is there anything that you would like to say as you as we close about, you know, the criticality of that customer experience or the employee experience? If there's one thing that you would put on the table and say, you have to do this to deliver. Tim, is honesty can be considered as an employee important value? I, absolutely. And I think it, it, that's exactly, I guess, I was looking for is something like that because I do think it's the employee's honesty, but the, it's also the honesty of the organization with that employee for them to feel that if they do something, they're going to be recognized, as you talked before, that the compensation is fair and appropriate and that they have the support to do the extra, to go over and above to meet the needs of a customer because let's face it, in your industry, in every industry, we have to recognize that there are going to be times when we have to step in and do the right thing. And sometimes the right thing in the short term costs us money, but in the long term, it's the right thing to do. Well, yeah, Arlene, I, I really appreciate your time and uh, thank you so much for joining us. And, and I look forward to you being part of these podcasts in the future. Have a wonderful uh, rest of your weekend and uh, thanks for coming in from the tropical sunshine to, to speak with us. Thank you so much, team.